Hi, this is Jenny. Welcome to my channel, Designs with Paper. The video I have for you today is a scene card using dies and a little bit of die cut inlay. The die set I'm using today is this Honeybee Stamp Slimline Horizons die, and I'm using the clouds and those two wavy dies. I've also pulled out a Spellbinder Circle die, a Spellbinder's Palm Tree die, and the Waffle Flower A2 Layer dies. I have also selected three colors of aqua cardstock, three colors of brown cardstock, and one piece of black cardstock. And all of these cardstocks are cut at four and a quarter by 11, half a sheet of cardstock. I will be taking these and laying the dies on them and cutting them through my die cut machine. And voila, through the magic of video editing and YouTube, you don't have to watch that process. I have a piece of painter's tape here and I am taping it sticky side up to my work surface. And I will be doing this to stack these pieces of cardstock that I have cut and nestle them in together to make one layer card panel. Now I did this by taking each piece of paper and the bottom of the strip was cut with the same die as the top of the strip of paper below it. That way they just nestled together really perfectly. And that is the reason that I used the 11 inch piece of paper so that I didn't have to worry about making sure I used the exact same piece of the die. I just cut the whole slimline length of the die and then I could stack them up and layer them no matter how it cut. Now that I have all of the water and the sand and the clouds on, I will go ahead and pull out my um, waffle flower die. Now I want this to be a full front card panel, so four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And as I pull that die out to decide where I want to cut it, I realize I've cut a couple of those strips of paper just a little too wide. So I will go back and trim down the card layer just a bit. I could have trimmed down that bottom layer of water as well, but I think that the, the clouds were work just fine. And now that I have that cut out, I can tape that right on there and lay the die down. And again, I'm using those waffle flower dies, lay that die down and tape it to those strips of paper so that I can run it through my die cut machine. Now the die cut machine that I have is the Spellbinders die. It's the one that will cut an entire eight and a half by 11 inch piece of cardstock. So I don't have to worry about these pieces of paper being too long to go through my die or my machine. Sorry. I will peel this piece of paper off the back. I don't really want to send that through my die cut machine. And there we go. I have it all cut apart. And now I have these strips of cardstock cut down perfectly to fit the front of an A2 size card. And that is four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And they're just going to nestle together in their layers again. I'm just kind of fidgeting around trying to figure out how did I have these? Oh yeah, the sand went lightest to darkest, the water went lightest to darkest, the clouds are on the top. <laughs> um, I'm cutting the palm tree and a circle out of some black cardstock and I've done that off screen. I will using, be using the largest of those palm tree dies. Now once I had those palm trees and the circle cut out, I decided to take a piece of, I believe this is Stick It double sided adhesive and adhere it to the back of this panel of black cardstock. This was in the moment how I decided to adhere all of these pieces of cardstock, cut out cardstock, together into one panel. I could have used and probably should have used the uh, just a piece of copy paper or scrap paper so that it wasn't too thick but gratefully when I put it through my die cut machine again the bulk was not too much for my machine. So anyway I have removed the backing paper to this adhesive and I am just burnishing onto the cardstock so that I can adhere those strips of cardstock. And I will pull it back just a little bit and now you can see that the adhesive is on the card the black cardstock. It's no longer on the the backer sheet. And I'm just going to go ahead and lay these um, pieces down, the ocean water, the, the sand, and the clouds, and, and kind of nestle them together so that there's not any space between them. And that is the beauty of using these dies and cutting them their full length before I trim them down. I had the ability to make sure that I was 
trimming down the pieces that really would nestle together well. One thing I really like about the stick it adhesive is that until you burn burnish it down and rub it in really hard, it's not super sticky, so you can reposition. And I have a piece of black cardstock that I've cut with the cloud die just to top off that layering piece so there was no adhesive sticking back there. So now I will lay down my circle die that I have cut out and decide where I want to cut through this panel. And this is where the inlay technique comes into play. Now really I should have paid a little bit more attention because you will see at the end I have a little bit of an oops, but that's okay. It just means that there was a place for my sentiment to go. And I did not realize until I was assembling this later that I put the leaves on upside down. <laughs> but whatever, we're just going to go with it, right? So here is the panel with my palm tree and my moon cut out. And I am going to start putting it on my card base. I have a piece of white cardstock here that is four and a quarter by 11 inches. And it is scored in half at five and a half inches. Sorry for my camera blurring out there for a minute. It's having a hard time deciding what to focus on. But I will go ahead and fold that card base in half and burnish that score line really well so that my card doesn't pop open while I'm working on it. I, have, I find that that is just the easiest way to keep it in place. So now I will add a little bit of ATG adhesive, tape runner adhesive, to the back of this panel. And this is when I realized I really could have just stuck this all down to a piece of copy paper, like all of the layers, and then die cut it out. I would, yeah. Anyway, the thing, you know, the, the thing about card making is it really is a learning process. You know, we, as we learn and create these projects, we figure out how we would do it like, next time so that there's a little bit of a, a better method next time. So now that I have this panel on the card front, I will go ahead and add some liquid adhesive to those cut out pieces so that I can inlay the black cardstock for the silhouette of the moon and the silhouette of the palm tree. And this is about the point in time when I realized that I had cut the leaves upside down and that I had put the trunk into the water. <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention to where that tree landed. I should have placed the trunk die cut on first and then the leaves and then the moon. But, you know... It's a learning thing and it doesn't look terrible and it gives me a perfect place to add a sentiment to the card. So now that I have all of the inlay part done, I have to figure out how to kind of cover up the fact that that palm tree is sitting in the water. And I have pulled out a Newton's Nook stamp set. I think it's called Find Your Paradise. And I'm going to use that sentiment that says Find Your Paradise. And I will adhere that or attach that sentiment stamp to a die, uh, stamp block. I'm going to go rogue here. I am not going to use my Misty because I'm using this Versifying Claire or the yeah Versifying Claire ink. Now, I don't know. I have a lot of inks in my stamp room. I'm sure that most of you do if you are a stamper, but this is like the best stamp at once sentiment ink. I didn't have to worry about not getting enough coverage. It stamped it perfectly the first time, which was why I was brave enough to go ahead and not use my Misty. So here I am pulling out a set of oval dies. They are from Stampin' Up! And I will cut that sentiment out into an oval. And I am stamping it on that same light brown cardstock that I used um, in the dirt, in the sand on the card front. We'll go ahead and die cut that out and add some adhesive to the back of that oval and put it there on the card front right at the bottom of that palm tree so that you can't tell that it's sticking in the water. There we go. So thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down and subscribe to my channel or share my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a great day.